Hi everyone, welcome. In today's video, we will be comparing the MXE M2 Pro Minor with the Helium Bobcat 300 Minor. So we'll be comparing both projects, the MXE project and the Helium project. Before we start, if you are not already a subscriber i will recommend you subscribe as i am solo grain channel and your support is really appreciated also if you find value in this video do click on the like button for the youtube algorithm so this youtube algorithm could actually recommend this video to other users right with all of that out of the way let's get into the comparison video so with both companies trying to achieve the same thing which is to provide network coverage for IoT devices they serve as um, a gateway for IoT devices basically so if you also get a Bobcat 300 minor or a MXC M2 Pro minor the use case for both of them is to serve as gateway for IoT devices. We will take a look at the real world or the hands-on use case for both devices. So, starting with the price or the entry barrier. MXE costs about $3,000 and depending on your location, you might have to pay taxes and duty just like i did before i actually got my minor delivered i got a letter from the um taxes and duties office to actually pay i can't remember how much it is now but i uh, but i had to pay for some taxes and duties to get my m2 pro minor delivered to my home address so about three thousand dollars plus tax and duties Compare that to the helium miner. You could get a helium miner between $450 to $750. And um, that's about six times six times cheaper than the MXE M2 Pro Miner. And the reason you have the wide price range is um, simply because the MXE or the sorry the helium miner actually has different suppliers so if you go to one supplier it could be 450 or 500 dollars plus shipping and some other suppliers you could actually get it for you know um up to 750 dollars depending on the supplier you actually use so to me that's one point to the helium miner the um entry barrier moving on to ease of setup mxe is as easy as one two three or should i just say abc very easy to say, set up. You simply download the Data Dash app, plug in your miner, you scan your MXE um, miner with the Data Dash app, and um, you're ready to go once you connect to the internet and all of that. And I actually have a video as to how to set the MXE um, M2 Pro miner up. I have an unboxing video if you so wish to actually um, watch that. Helium, on the other hand, it's a bit more complex as you have to look for an appropriate location uh, the height or the elevation of where your miner actually sits is actually very important you then pair up your helium miner to the helium app using you know a bluetooth well you only do that once and once you've done that you then have to sync your miner with a blockchain wait for a challenge um and then your miner to actually witness other miners or oh, did i mention you have to open up a port called port 44158 and your router to prevent um, a relayed miner and um you also um have to assign a static ip address you get my drift there are a couple of things you need to do before you get up and running with the helium miner but i'll tell you what it's um it, it is what it is so um that's one point to the m2 pro miner um ease of setup plug it in um connect your miner to the data dash app and um you're ready to go the um, next thing we're going to compare is the token so the m2 pro miner is a multi-token miner 
currently mining MXC, but you've got BTC and Polkadot to be added later on in the future. Helium Miner, on the other hand, only mines the HNT token. However, the value of the HNT token is over 5,000x or 5,000 times of that of the MXC. And there is no restriction as to how many HNT tokens you can actually mine per day. And um, unlike the um, MXC miner, where you could um, you only rewarded for um, a MXC dollar value of between ten dollars and fourteen dollars per day. So that's another point to the helium miner. Right, the next thing we are going to move on to is the profitability or return on um, investment. The M2 Pro miner mines between 10 to 14 dollars per day, so says MXC, but the most I've mined personally per day is um, been about um, 10 dollars. And at that rate, it takes um, between 8 to 10 months for you to break even. Helium, on the other hand, is based and um, your location, elevation of your um, of your miner, the proximity to other miners, the number of witnesses um, your miner can actually communicate with, and um, how many miners are actually in your hexagon, which is like your local area, and um, that you are, um, and as a result of all of that, you can actually break even. You can actually break even in months using the helium miner. In fact, some people broke even in days in the old world of the consensus group. Those days are long gone now, but you could break even in um, about two months, so weeks to, um, well, infinity. Um, that's um, with the um, helium project or the helium miners out there. Um, I mean, I broke even in um, just about a month. And um, the reason I didn't break even a lot more earlier was because of, of some test comparison for DBI versus ADBI antenna that, that I was actually doing. But um, I've got another video for um, all of that. And um, to me, that's another point to um, uh, the um, Helium network. You have a much more quicker um, ROI on, um, on, on the Helium network or getting a Helium miner. Um, earlier on, I mentioned um, the HNT token is about 5,000 times of um, MXC. I mean, 500 times of the MXC, not um, 5,000 times of the MXC. Um, last I checked the um, price of the HNT, I believe it was around $22, while that of the uh, MXC token is about um, less than four cents. So apologies about that. It's 500 times, not 5,000 ti um, times of um, the, um, the MXC token of what the Helium is. Now the real world usage, Helium just feels like a proper solid project. Um, I mean, just setting up the hotspot itself, you know, you have to sync up to the blockchain and you've got IoT devices connecting and transferring data using your hotspot. It's totally different to MXC where you just plug it in and um, you get paid for plugging in the um, M2 Pro Miner that the MXC um, project actually uses and um, you get paid $10 a day. That's it, basically. And um, you don't actually get anything regarding syncing up to the blockchain and all of that. Uh, though there are real-world usage of the MXC or the M2 Pro Miner, and apparently it's been used extensively in China, but these things aren't as clear as um, what you actually get with the Helium Miner. Let's take a quick look at both apps. Helium here, look at the progress bar. If we look at the progress bar there, oh, well, um, so you have a couple of things like um, challenges, challenger, witnesses, internet connection, you know, uh, if your minor sync to blockchain, there we go. So you've got um, yeah, minor sync to blockchain and um, the hotspot status if it's connected to the internet. You have um, things like you see as your hotspot actually created a challenge. As it witnessed a challenge, is the witness list. Um, as it passed a challenge and um, transferring of data and things like that. It just feels like a, um, a, what a gateway should feel like, you know, or at least um, what a gateway should actually do when it um, comes to the helium miner. It tells you how much you've earned by, you know, do, doing all of those things in the past um. 24 hours in the past 14 days, how much your 
hotspots actually and if we take a look at um data dash which is the app for mxc by the way and um we have things like the uptime you know how um you simply show how your gateway it's been performing in the last seven days you know if there's been any downtime in the last seven days you have gps which is still not in use altitude again not in use orientation and you've got some tool um something called fuel which is controversial as it will reduce the um, token mind if you decide to withdraw or cash out uh, your currently mined token which isn't an issue in um the helium project if you've mined something now if you decide to withdraw everything same day no issue at all and um if you've noticed something uh there isn't anything to actually um show you or tell you um if you actually sync to the blockchain um to me that looks like you're just paid ten dollars per day for connecting to the internet or at least for now and um and again to me that's a point to the helium network so what conclusion am i drawing from all of this the helium network is a much more solid project compared to the mxc project at least personally to me mxc it looks like is currently big in china for iot devices or at least that's what the company says but helium on the other hand you have information that can be easily easily procured over the internet on its use cases you can even buy devices online that can use the helium network right now there are iot devices that you have on amazon go online buy them pair it with the helium network and you start using those devices for transferring um, data over the helium network if you're someone that also enjoy enjoys tinkering with Things you will enjoy the helium miner as well as opposed to the mxc m2 pro miner we simply just plug it in scan and leave it and it starts giving you 10 to 14 dollars a day if you enjoy thinking with stuff like i do and um i um do have some options regarding getting a more powerful antenna placing your miner in a much higher elevation uh, or placing your antenna in a much more higher elevation and seeing more hotspots which can potentially increase your earning and um, but there are drawbacks as the more miners you have local to you or in your local hexagon um, the lower the reward is for the amount of HNT you earn per day in fact the helium network is actually I'm um, seeing an exponential growth in a number of um, um, hotspots being added to the um, uh, to the network to the um, helium network and um, you've got um, the number of rewards that you actually earning in a day going down due to these plus there was an helium halving on the um, 1st of August um, MXC on the other hand has no such issues yet but some ch changes are coming soon regarding the proximity so if you have multiple miners closer to each other that could actually affect um, your earning. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are regarding the um, MXC um, project or the Helium project. Um, personally, I would um, go for the Helium project. And um, as most of you lot are aware, I have put miners and I, if I could go back to April when I ordered um, one MXC M2 Pro miner and um, two um, Bobcat 300 um, miner, I personally would have gone for five of the helium miners as opposed to one of the M2 and two of the Bobcat, Bobcat miner. So um, if I could go back to April, I would have um, bought more um, helium miners. Unfortunately, another drawback of the helium miner is um, you place an order uh, for a helium miner. Now you could be waiting five, six, seven, eight months before you actually get one. And um, the MXE, actually that's one point to the MXE project, your MXE foundation. And um, if you order a miner now, you could um, simply receive your miner in up to four to five weeks, sometimes two weeks apparently. I've been seeing some updates out there saying if you place an order for your MXCM2 Pro miner, you should be getting your miner in two weeks. Helium on the other hand, like I said, you could take up to, you know, seven, eight, um, nine, ten weeks. Some people have been waiting since, um, I don't know, January, February or maybe March of this year for their miner that they order from Nebra or Nebra. And um, they're still waiting um, 
they don't even know when they are going to be getting their miner so that's one of the um uh, downfalls of actually i'm um, trying to um, get the helium miner anyway i uh, will leave it at that for now and thanks for watching the video if you find any value in this video please click on the like button so the youtube algorithm could actually recommend this video to um, more youtube viewers and um have a good day thanks again for watching the video